Let me push a bit further on some of your background because you were strongly criticised for the way you were asked to respond to a claim made by another UKIP candidate, this was in the run-up to the general election, that some homosexuals prefer sex with animals. You did so by talking about how a gay donkey tried to rape your horse. Do you still stand by that? Do you, do you know, Joe, it's, it's really interesting what you're doing because I'm trying to tell you my serious vision for UKIP and I you keep trivialising it. But look, that was, was that a just of, a trivial point? It was a bit of playful banter with a mischievous act. Activist. OK? Right. Now, 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 look, I would be so appreciative if you could please just understand the concept that I'm trying to communicate to your viewers, and that is that according to the plan that I have for UKIP, UKIP is going to grow. Right now, there's very little reason to join UKIP. I wouldn't be surprised if we had fewer than 25,000 members, and yet 17.4 million people in this country have essentially said they agree with our basic premise. Right, but are those the sort of answers that you would give as leader of the party, even in a frivolous way? Uh, no, I concede it was a mistake to be playful with an activist in a street. The fact is I'm not a politician. You know, the, the guy was just asking me questions in the street. It was an error of judgment, you know. It was, I was very early coming, coming into politics, and, yeah, I'm sorry if I offended anyone by doing that, but please can we move on?